The following question states that which solid exhibits more than one kind of chemical bonding? Um, the first option is given as brass. Brass is a mixture of uh, copper and zinc. So it's an, it's an alloy. So this is what the structure of brass would look like. Uh, copper and zinc uh, would have different sizes, so it would create an irregular metallic lattice. Uh, for example, these tiny atoms are zinc, uh, zinc ions and the bigger ions are copper ions. Uh, so, uh, uh, so an irregular lattice would be created because of the irregular arrangement. And, uh, uh, but it's still, it's still going to have a metallic structure. The positive ions would be attracted by the delocalized electrons over here. So, so there's only one type of force that would metallic bonds. So even if it's an alloy, uh, metallic bonds would be the only force of attraction that would be present. Similarly, if you look at option B, which is copper, copper is a pure metal. Now a pure metal is going to have an exactly uh, similar type of structure. And let me draw the structure. So here's the metallic lattice of copper. And as you can see, it's the same type of structure. The only thing is that uh, it's more regularly arranged because you have the same sized ions. In brass, you had uh, different atoms, a mixture of metals. So there were different sizes of ions, but over here you have the same sizes of ions. So the structure is more regularly arranged. You have positive ions in a sea of free moving electrons. And the, again, the only uh, bonds that are present are metallic bonds. So only metallic bonds are present. Uh, which was this which was also the case in brass let's move to diamond now diamond is a giant covalent structure in diamond only covalent bonds are present and so only covalent bonds are present and let me show you the structure of what diamond looks like so this over here is how the structure of diamond would look like where carbon is forming four single bonds with other carbon atoms those carbon atoms are again further forming four single four bonds with four other carbon atoms and a giant structure is uh, is formed uh, which uh, continues endlessly so you have all these tetrahedral carbons all attached to each other so only covalent bonds are present in diamond now let's move to ice and let's try and figure out what the structure of ice looks like so let me draw the structure of ice so over here i'm going to try and draw the structure of ice in ice what would happen is that you have a water molecule uh, water has two hydrogens and the shape of uh, a water molecule is bent. There would be lone pairs uh, on oxygen. These, uh, these lone pairs would have a partial negative charge. The hydrogens would have a partial positive charge because oxygen is very electronegative. And then uh, these, this water molecule will be attracting other water molecules by a hydrogen bond. So let me draw other water molecules as well. So I've drawn these other two molecules. So let's say I have three water molecules. All three water molecules will be attracting each other by hydrogen bonds. The lone pairs on one oxygen, the neg partial negative, would be attracted to the partial positive hydrogen of the other water molecule. The same would happen over here as well. The partial positive uh, hydrogen would be attracted to the partial negative uh, lone pairs on oxygen. So these are your hydrogen bonds that would be formed between, between water molecules. Uh, and this would be, uh, this would continue. There would be plenty of water molecules and all these water molecules will be attracting either, each other by hydrogen bonds. So in water, there are two types of attractive forces. One is uh, oxygen and hydrogen have a covalent bond. So there are covalent bonds present over here. Uh, covalent bonds present in this water molecule as well. So that's one force of attraction or one bond. So there would be covalent bonds between water molecules uh, in, inside the water molecule. And one water molecule will be attracting other water molecule by the attractive force known as hydrogen bonds. So there are two types of bonding that would be present in water. So let's uh, go back to the question. And the question stated which solid exhibits more than one kind of chemical bonding. That would be ice because in ice they are normal covalent bonds. And two water molecules will be attracting each other by hydrogen bonds so there are two types of attractive forces so option d would be your correct answer